Hi everyone, my name is Craig and I'm a video producer. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the fastest way to back up your photos and videos from your iPhone onto a Mac using image capture. I learned this trick several years ago and I'm surprised at how many people don't know this technique that has saved me a ton of time and peace of mind. This allows you to back up all of your footage on either an external hard drive or directly onto the hard drive on your computer. Everyone I know has pulled their hair out at least once trying to get iTunes to do a backup of their iPhone. If you're like me, you only update your iPhone after the iOS update has been live for a few months, which often creates issues in iTunes when needing to do a backup. And if all goes well and you're able to perform an iTunes backup of your phone, there's still that sinking feeling of, what if I lost all my photos? Well, this video is for you. In my mind, I see this method being useful for a couple types of people. First, anyone who uses their phone to create content and wants a fast, reliable backup of all of your work. I'm sure if you are a content creator, you are used to a traditional backup workflow for your data. You capture the content on your camera of choice. You move the data from a temporary memory solution to a more long-term solution. Then you edit your content, and then you reuse your temporary memory storage to create more content. Well, if that is the case, then this method will be a familiar process for you. I also see this being useful for the everyday person who wants peace of mind knowing their cherished memories over the last year, two years, or maybe even five plus years are securely backed up on a readily accessible location. I think of my mom or my older sister who take thousands of photos and videos every year of family events, birthdays, or of course, the animals. Um, it would be heartbreaking to lose all of that content. So this is a simple method for the everyday iPhone user who is already a part of that Apple ecosystem. The idea for this video came after my honeymoon this summer. I was sitting in the Cancun airport backing up all of my iPhone content from the trip. And I was realizing there are so many people who probably don't know this process on how to properly back up their data um, from their phone. So it's a very simple process and I'm gonna actually walk you through that process right now. Uh, you gotta plug your iPhone into your Mac. If prompted, make sure you select to trust this computer or your device will not show up. Okay, second, we need to open the application Image Capture. This is a native application to Mac, so it should be there. Um, the fastest way to find it is to hold Command and then hit Space Bar. This will bring up your Spotlight search, and then we're gonna search for Image Capture. Okay, so once you have it open, you should see your phone on the list of devices, and it might take some time to load up all your content, so be patient as it loads. We also need to change the import location. Where do we want these files to live? So you can click that drop down menu and then select where you want to store your files. So I'm gonna select a specific destination for these files to live on an external hard drive. Okay, once all of the content loads in, you will select a date range that you wanna back up. So my honeymoon was May 31 through June 8. So I'm gonna select everything in that range by clicking the first file I wanna select, and then I'm gonna hold shift and click to the last file in my selection. This is gonna highlight everything from the trip. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see how many files are in your selection. So I have about 200, a little over 200 files. And then just click import. And a note here, if you hit import all, uh, you're actually gonna import all of the content on your phone, which will take a really long time. So you're welcome to do that if you want to back up all of the content on your device but for this tutorial, I just wanna focus on a specific range of media. Okay, once the application finishes the import, you can double check to make sure all of your content is located on your hard drive, and then boom, you're finished. A simple, fast, and secure way to make sure your data is backed up properly using image capture. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. If you learned something new or enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already for more content. Much love.